Hi children, it's time for children's passage. I have some cookies here. Have you tried baking cookies? First, you must make your dough. Then, you need to roll the dough out until it is very thin. Next, you cut the cookie shapes out with a cookie cutter. There, the cookies will all be the same shape. Now, I have a question for you. Who made you? Yes, God made you. Do you think God used a cookie cutter to make you? The Bible tells us that we are God's masterpiece. God did not use a cookie cutter to make you. He handcrafted you. He put a lot of details and a lot of care into making you just the way he wants you to be. And he saw it was very good. In the Bible, King David wrote, let me read to you from the Bible, Psalm 139, 13 to 14. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. God's creation is amazing. Each of you is God's unique creation. You are all different and beautiful in your own way. Some of you have dark hair, others have light hair, some have dark skin, others have light skin. Besides your physical features, you are different in personalities and have different gifts. Some of you are cheerful, some of you are creative, some of you can sing well. Some are good at sports. Each one of you is wonderful in your own way. It is not because what you can do or be, but because who created you, our awesome God. You are God's workmanship. God created you for a purpose. Your ultimate purpose is to love God and love others. He wants you to know Him and worship Him. The Bible said that God created you in His image. But sin came into the world and has caused you to no longer reflect God's character. When you are unkind to someone, you don't look like God. When you tell a lie, you don't look like God. When you disobey your parents and teachers, you don't look like God. All these are sins. Your sin mess up your image of God in you and it also keeps you away from knowing God. God loves you. He wants you to know Him. So, He sent Jesus to you by dying on the cross. Jesus took the punishment of our sins. But He became alive again. And so, He brings new life to each of us who wants to be His friend. When you follow Jesus, and obey Him, you are able to reflect who God is and help others see that God is real. Let's pray. Dear God, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Your words are wonderful and we praise you for that. Thank you for loving us 
and sending Jesus to save us from our sins. Please help us to know you more and more and obey you so that our lives can truly show others that you are real and that through our actions, they will know you love them too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.